race director Mike, he's been wearing kilts when he's been racing for years and we were looking into getting into uh, racing again. Myself being Scottish, we kind of put two and two together and that's how we came up with the Highlander Assault. Three distances. We have a four mile with 20 obstacles, the eight mile covers 27 obstacles, and the 12 mile will cover 47 plus three bonus obstacles. First I had a friend of mine who got me into it. She told me about it. That's when I started working out and as soon as I did the first race and it just got addicted. This was my first long distance uh, obstacle course race. It was a 12 mile one. You did the eight mile course. I did the four mile. Today is a beautiful day! And the strongest of the strongest is here right now. When you get out on that course today, understand the integrity is what you carry. The honor is what you carry. The work, the perseverance, that is what you carry. So if you are what you say you are, then I need you to represent. Represent with all your power and all your might. It was a nice course. It was a lot of good trail running. A lot of obstacles that require a lot of upper body strength. <laughs> Tons of mud, uh, so deep that we had to swim through it at points. Uh, my husband owns Heart Fitness in Plainfield. Just his training with obstacles, he has a lot in his gym, definitely helped me on the course today. With having all four distances, you have everybody from a beginner novice to all the elite athletes from the area, we even have a 24 mile option. I thought I couldn't make it, but I pulled through and I, we made it. I like running, but I don't like doing just runs like marathons, half marathons. I like with the obstacle course racing, there's obstacles that break it up. And also the obstacle course racing community is second to none in my opinion because it doesn't matter who you are on the course, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your gender, it doesn't matter your political affiliations, everybody's the same, everybody pulls for each other. Definitely the, the pipes with the rope. A lot of upper body strength. The one where you had to jump up and then climb over. Probably the rock climbing wall. That, that part's pretty hard where you're just gripping with your fingers. You know what, I, I didn't like the mud, but I liked the mud because it challenged me. Anybody can do a race. No intimidation, doesn't matter what your physical condition is. Just to get out there, meet people, get some exercise, it's just a fantastic experience all in all. Just the camaraderie of everybody out here, whether you're an elite runner, or whether you're a beginner, everybody's very supportive and encouraging and it really helps to get you through the race. Just get out there, give it a try the first time, and you'll see you'll be able to realize what you're able to do, what you can't do, and you go from there, and then you take off. You now it's a good time out there. It was a good race, and I'm looking forward to the next one for sure. It was definitely a fun course. I would definitely run this one again.